Hello guys, to implement drawing or uh, drafting feature, you first have a 3D object for that. We will going to make first a 3D object and then we will see on it how to implement drafting. So select a plane, draw any sketch. Right now I'm using a, a rip command and I'm making a cross section of my object. It's half part of the cross section and now I will make the path along which I will rib it so I need to use a elongated hole feature uh, it is in rectangular yeah this one elongated hole okay so I need to make all these two and points symmetric to the vertical axis so I will first select these two points and later I select the vertical axis Y B and click on symmetry yeah. so now in this manner if you change one of um, the end point the other end point also move according to it so now we have cross section and profile so I am going to choose rib and select first as my cross section and then address the profile so here is our 3d object so on this we will see how to implement drafting so go and start mechanical and drafting select the white page and this is the paper size the black boundary which you are seeing is the paper size and select front view go to windows and I have given drafting 2 as my part object name so this is the front view right now it is very large going beyond the size of the paper so I will scale it down let's try 1 is to 3 um, let's make it even more smaller so I will make it 1 is to 4 now it's good it's quite nice so i will adjust its position and i want to show a cross section it is just left side of the view tool so here is a cross section the aa part let me position it and now you can assign any dimensions like the radius, the vertical distance, the horizontal distance between the lines once you have given all the dimension now you need to add a title box that is very essential part of any drawing so go to edit and sheet background and select drawing title sample 2 and ok so here Katia automatically generates a title box you just have to double click on the text field and correspondingly update the um, strings or the characters so here you can change the name to anything like XYZ company all you have to do is to double click on the text and you can change it so fill up all the detail because it contains the essential data like uh, which is the company who is making the drawing who is making the drawing who is uh, the drawing is checked by whom what is the size the scale the weight and what is the name of the component the sheet is representing so all of these data are there in the sheets Even the date is also there so you can just double click and update the date Now once you are done, uh, again go back to edit and working view so that you can imp 
uh, insert more views or add dimension or captions so I'm just labeling it as a cross section now mm, let me show you a balloon feature through which uh, if we have a machine uh, and which is made up of different different components then in that case uh, the whole assembly of machine we represent by a balloon which help us to indicate uh, the different different components because if we are going to write text for each component then it becomes quite messy so let me search it where it is uh, I think might be in uh, text field toolbox yeah there it is so this is a very cool representation of component it just assigns a circle and inside that there is a number it automatically increase as much you are going to use it the number of times you are going to increase it the number automatically gets updated and just putting a row and a column you can describe what the number one represents like which component or which view it is representing though it's not required here I'm just giving a kind of example like one is the top view and the two is the cross-sectional view you can use this in kind of a BOM bill of material like this is the component uh, its weight is this much in another column The material through which it is going to be made aluminium steel or brass so as many fields you want to use as many columns you want you have to insert so now if everything's complete let me there is one thing missing the isometric view of this product so this is the isometric view with the help of compass uh, we will first orient it in proper position left right or little bit rotate so let me uh, decrease its size even more further 1 is to 10 so that it quite fit inside my paper size Now once you are done, save your file in any format like PDF, DWG which is AutoCAD file, DFX which is used in case of numeric file that is used even in laser cutting and medial cutting. Now look at to this, quite impressive, neat and clean drawing in PDF even if you are going to zoom it. Then also its quality do not decrease, it's quite impressive. So whatever you have created the dimensions, the sketches, all you can see it here. 